listen only mode. Hello, everybody. This is Ernie Molinero with Composso. Thank you for taking the time uh, to spend with us today. We are um, having our two week, uh, excuse me, we are having our weekly Oracle Commerce Cloud webinar. And the emphasis is really um, the kind of uh, going into uh, providing a two week uh, jumpstart program. So we're gonna talk more in detail about that. But just let me start, we've got a number of people from Oracle and Composso on the phone, Kate Barrett, uh, Bill Thomas, Christian DeZoris, and then with uh, Composso is Abner Luxon. And uh, let's get started with the webinar. We, we've got this thing targeted for 30 minutes. And so hopefully we'll be able to uh, go down and knock that out in the time that we've allocated. We have uh, some general, uh, just a little bit of housekeeping here. And the first one is during the webinar, if you have some specific questions marked in the box there, please write them down. I'm gonna be monitoring those questions as we move along. And at the end of the webinar, we'll go ahead and answer those questions. So that's the first point. Uh, second point is, you know, I mentioned earlier, we're having a weekly webinar. The next, the next one that we have scheduled is, is one o'clock central time on Wednesday of next week. So they're gonna be weekly. Uh, we're gonna end it on May 20th. And it, so for convenience sake, if you have already enrolled, the, folk, the people on the phone obviously have enrolled, uh, but if you're, able, if you're not able to make the entire webinar, if you need to take off, um, it automatically enrolls you for the next uh, few webinars that we'll have on this topic. Um, simply, if you don't want to attend, uh, just take it off your calendar, no problem. We just, for convenience sake, um, got into a lot of requests of people having to re-register, so we just thought this was the easiest way to do it. So let's go on to the next slide. And let me go ahead and turn it over to Bill now and have, you, have him walk through a couple of slides with you. Oh, Bill, I think you're on mute. Thank you, Ernie. Appreciate that, buddy, I was on mute. Um, thank you, Ernie. Yes, we're gonna cover three main areas today. One, we're gonna get right into it. Wheels down, showing you customers that are on the road that are driving their online business today. Two, we're gonna show you how those customers got on the road by showing you what kind of built, what kind of bike can be built for you in two weeks. And the third is we'll talk about the places that you're gonna go with an Oracle CX Commerce platform. So one, let's get right into it. We're gonna talk about Oracle CX Commerce and let me show you live customers. We are gonna cover three main areas. We're gonna cover Moleskin and show you this live customer line. I'm gonna show you Enterpack, which is more of a B2B model and then I'll show you us Oracle Commerce Cloud sandbox environments and the power that we provide there. So let me jump over to my web browser and let's start with Moleskin. So this is Moleskin. You can go out there yourself and check them out uh, on Oracle Commerce Cloud. This is their US site. Notice that they're able to use a lot of the best practices, edge to edge hero banners, a fully responsive you know, let me just go like this. Let me show you a fully responsive layout design. This is meant for marketing and merchandisers to control every page on every website, on every device. That means they can not only uh, look at these pages, they can modify the pages, preview and publish these without ever calling the IT department. So the reason Moleskin went with Oracle Commerce Cloud is that they were able to launch in 20 countries in nine months. 65 different languages, 45 different currencies. We absolutely understand our internationalization. So I'm showing you the US site. Let me change a country here. These are all the different countries that they've launched uh, on the planet. Moleskin sells a phenomenal amount of notebooks. I did not realize how big they were until we spoke to them. Notice, look at all the different countries that they've launched into already. No team was louder than the Japanese team. They said, please help us. The problem that we have is, and I'm not gonna translate this, I want you to see what, what Oracle CX Commerce does out of the box. Here's the Japanese site. Same instance of Oracle Commerce Cloud running in here. Notice they have this compressed layout because in Japan, if you do those edge to edge hero banners, the conversion rates I'll go right into the gutter. So the Japanese team, they can share content on a global scale. They can share the catalog, like this M is for movers. 
This is a global campaign. So they can set these global campaigns, but then have it run one way in the US and have it run a different way inside of Japan, all of it with the same goal to drive online revenue. So great example of how in one instance you can share content and how small teams are empowered to do more than they were ever able to do before. Okay. Notice, um, let me go back to the uh, Moleskin US site. And let me show you the powerful search engine that's in here as well. So notice that if I do a search for notebook, it has the type ahead. So as soon as I start typing in a few letters, I get um, notebooks. If I wanted a particular color, I can type in pink. And notice I get snappy pink, kinetic pink, any type of pink that is out there is available to me. Let's say I misspell a uh, notebook, you know what I mean? And I leave out uh, a zero. Notice that we could not find any results for my misspelled word, but it automatically did the spell correction and brought back the appropriate notebooks. So natural language uh, uh, correction is built into the platform. You get this out of the box. You don't have to do anything. You load your products and the power of Oracle CX Commerce does it for you. So very, very um, powerful search engine, a product catalog, and personalization. Okay. So now let me go to another company called Enterpack. So notice two very different companies. This is the only fully integrated B2C and B2B platform on the planet. Nobody does this better. A lot of people like to talk tough, but when it comes down to it, Oracle has this figured out like nobody else. Now, before I go in and show you, here's this is Enterpack, and again, a site you can go look at, Oracle Commerce Cloud, to serve there. But let's start from Google. They actually came to us and said, you know, our problem is we sell the best mechanical cooler on the planet. However, they were getting killed in Google and SEO organic searches. So notice that when I pull up mechanical cooler, who comes up first page, first position? Enterpack does. This is for pulling, say, a tire off of an axle or pulling, say, a, a railroad um, you know, wheel off of an axle, pulling anything off anything else. When you click on this, let me show you their site and what happens. I go into a nice, rich category page that gives me all kinds of information. I get a nice description of it. I can see they're pushing these industrial cutters. Scroll down a little farther. I can get right to the pullers. I can see accessories and other storage cases. I go a little farther, I can see new products. Listen, they're doing a promotional here of $600. That's just new, this wasn't here a couple of days ago. Different applications of the product, I've shown you how I actually use different pullers, okay? So now, that's mechanical pullers. Let me go back to Google. Let me, they are also really good at flange spreaders. So if I push in here a uh, flange spreader, First page, first position, these are past the videos. Here's Enterpack again. But notice that they're also being used up ahead of this page, but organically, first page, first position. If I click on flange spreaders here, different product, different experience. This is more of your traditional Amazon experience where I have my faceted nav on the left and I've got a nice uh, product catalog on the right. So for mechanical pullers, they wanted a different experience. For flange spreaders, they wanted it to be this way. So notice that per product, per category, per pixel, you control everything. So let me go into this hydraulic wedgie and let's show you the product detail page, okay? On this product detail page, one year ago, Enterpack wasn't doing anything online. They weren't selling, all they had was a really small site that was really just a brochure site. Now look at what their customers can do. I haven't even logged in. I can find a distributor. I can go anywhere on the globe and get the right experience. I can now go shop online, look at my cart. I can add it to my purchase list. I can rent the equipment. I can contact an Enterpack rep or I can request a demo. And I haven't even scrolled down on the page yet. This is the type of experience that you cannot get with our competition. We dial in every pixel on every page to drive that online revenue. Whoops, I do not want to request this demo. So let's go back and let me show you down on the product detail page. Nice, rich description in here. 
here are my specifications. Do I want them in Imperial or do I want them in metric? If I click, whoop, I'm going a little bit too fast here. Sorry, let me scroll back up here a little bit. Notice that if I click on Imperial or metric, the images down here are going to change to give me the bright dimensions and experience for me. So rich product detail page that will enable your customers like never before. All right. Now let me, this is all on the Enterpack site. Let me scroll back up to the top here. So this is from Enterpack. And then the last site that I want to show you is Supremo Interiors. This is an Oracle sandbox environment that we have here, again, Oracle Commerce Cloud. This is showing you a fictitious company called Supremo Technologies. We support the anonymous user, the B2C user, and the B2B user out of the box. So as an anonymous user, I could know what place you're coming to, say from a major city, whether you're coming from Chicago or London or Dubai, and I could have the languages, the content, product, pricing, all of it can snap accordingly. So here I can see my product catalog, service and generators and filters and accessories. But now let me go log in as a B2B user. Here's Jeff Stanton, I'm gonna log in as Jeff. Same experience, same instance, but boom, I'm sorry, not same experience, a different experience on the same instance. So notice that now we have a B2B experience. So we get that we know that Jeff Stanton is really into the electrical and this is what his interests are. So we're able to change the catalog and pricing accordingly. Notice that we can have as many B2B layers as we want. So if I have a very deep B2B structure where I have global companies that have a New York and a West Coast region, absolutely you can separate those out and have dial us in exactly B2B users. Now, let me go to this portal and show you where we can take this. Same instance of Oracle Commerce Cloud, but notice that this was a B2B user, we could give them this rich experience where we could expose service tickets and assets and quotes to them. If I scroll down here, they could schedule some service or they could do a complex configuration. You know, when we talked about the places that you can go, this is what we mean. You can build these types of experiences that your customers never dreamed were possible, and that's how you drive online revenue. So I can see my different quotas, you know, what quotes have been created, what quotes have been ordered in the system. I can come down here and notice I can see my rich order history. I could see all of my invoices that came in from the system. I could click and see all of my subscriptions that are available to my uh, available to me. Service tickets and quoting. All of this can be available to you from a, from a user experience standpoint, okay? Great. Now, let's go through here, and I'm sorry I meant to have this up. Let me go into the administration panel and quickly just show you some of the features. Whoop. Oh, sorry. Great, let me log in. So this is the administration panel. This is where merchandisers go, non-IT people that can come in, you know, preview their analytics, look at the reporting, look at their A-B testing, see how well the site is working. And from here, let me just kind of go to some of the setup and the configuration. So from a simplification process, when we talked about that earlier, notice that very easy to hook up any sort of payment processing. So credit cards, PayPal, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Venmo, absolutely. I'm um, doing. We have a uh, we have a customer in South America that is using bitcoins in order to uh, sell high end audio equipment. All of that is possible, and the reason this is possible, and again from our competition, is this is Oracle's cloud. We built it from the ground up. Our data center, our computer racks, guards, fencing, all of that is ours. That means it's a PCI level one compliant data center that can connect to any sort of payment gateway on a global scale. Okay, so these are the general settings and setups. Let me go over and show you some of the merchandising real quick as well. Very, very rich promotional engine that you can do item discounts. I can do order promotions and shipping promotions. All the different types of promotions that you would expect from an enterprise grade system. 
And when we talk about simplification, here are stacking rules. St when you have a lot of promotions running, you, you group those into a stacking rule, which means customers will not get a run on their promotions. So very easy to have a lot of promotions and very easy to manage them to make sure you don't give away too many promotions. Let's show you the audiences here. When you look at these, this is what is um, called customer segmentation and allows you to quickly define any sort of customers. Anonymous customers, B2C or B2B types of customers can be assigned here. So let me go to these B2B accounts and kind of show you the example of the rules that you can add to this. So if I wanted to say, I want to trap on shopper profiles who have a lifetime average order value of say $100 or a lifetime spend of, let me try to zoom that in for you guys a little bit. You can see these shopper profiles and attributes. So if I said, I want a lifetime spend that is greater than say $10,000, what that is gonna do is that is gonna trap on shoppers that have a lifetime spend over $10,000. And then what you do with that promotion I go back to the audiences. I'll just discard this for a moment. Let's say I want to do 10% off uh, for all my gold customers. So here I'm showing you where for the entire site I'm given 10% off, but I can make the availability to just those B2B customers. So here is those audiences and how I tie that to a promotion. The reason this is so powerful you can set up your customer segmentations and define customers however you want. And then you can tie those to promotions. You can tie that to page designs and say, hey, for this particular promotion on this particular page, only show it to my VIP customers on this page. You can then do an A-B test on that to see if I push that promotion to those people, did I see a lift in my online revenue? That type of process you cannot do with any other platform. Okay, let me go over here to the design tools. One of the things we talked about earlier was simplification of process. The best way to show this is how one click, two clicks, I have access to every page in the system. Here's all the pages in the system. Here's all the websites, so I can support many websites in one instance, and all the viewports. That means mobile, iPad, tablet, desktop, whatever, it is going to render correctly every single time. Of course, it's a responsive layout, but the key is that your marketing merchandising people can take control of these layouts, change them, preview them at any time they want. So let's go to the Supremo Interiors. Let me just kind of show you this page. This is the Supremo Interiors page, the rough layout. If I go to the preview mode, it shows me what the page actually looks like before I actually publish it. So what this is doing is rendering the page. So you can see that here, I'm here in preview mode and I can see exactly what my page looks like before I, before I wanna publish it. So if I went over here, If I scroll down and I put in a new row here, and I'm gonna just do a really, really simple, you know, hello world uh, example. So I'm gonna create a new widget here and I'm just gonna call it hello world. So I'm gonna do a save here, hello world. Now, once I'm inside of this widget, notice that Notice the level of personalization I have here. So this is a web content where I can just put a web, uh, an image, I can put in some rich text, I can add a purchase list on here. In this case, I'm just doing some rich text. And I'm going to put in here, hello world, as a simple example. And I'll make this, you know, a header. Do it done. I hit save. So I gotta get the uh, Zoom, this go to meeting out of my way. 
So then if I go to sorry, give me one second. If I go to the top of the page and I hit preview mode, here's my hello world right here. Really easy to make modifications and changes on the site at any time. If I go back to the admin panel and let me go over here to the publishing section. From here, I can see all the edits that were made in the site. In this case, I am an Amber admin, so I can see exactly the different changes that I made. And from here, I can select particular changes. I could publish all my changes or I could schedule them. So let's say for Black Friday and Cyber Monday and the holiday season, you want to have different promotions coming up at different times for different audiences. Very, very easy to set up those types of campaigns, schedule them, and have your content push and pull um, without you having to worry about getting up at midnight to make that happen. Okay, great. All right, so at that point, that is the main presentation for the demo. So let me go back to the actual slides and we can continue the presentation. So I just showed you Moleskin, Enterpack, and a live Commerce Cloud demonstration. All right, so let's talk about building your bike in two weeks. In two weeks, what are you gonna get? You're gonna get a complete storefront that has products and search, uh, credit cards, discounts, promotions, product recommendations that are served up by Oracle's AI engine. All of that you will get in two weeks. You also get very, very powerful tools that will empower your marketing people like they've never been powered before. So being able to use those administration tools that I saw you, there's also an agent console where your customer service reps can go in and they can shop on behalf of your customers. All of those tools you get after those two weeks. Yep, was somebody else gonna say something? No? Okay, somebody has a question from one of the panelists. And then the third thing is what you get are experts. 20 plus years of doing uh, online commerce with some of the largest customers on the planet, all of that expertise is brought forward and will be given to your company as well. So working with skilled professionals. One of those is Composso. They are a leading solution provider at Oracle with over 50 Oracle Commerce projects launched, 400 developers and 1,500 digital developers. So they absolutely bring the muscle that you need as well as the expertise that not only deliver quickly, but delivered at a very, very low cost point. We want to point out that they've been recognized as the best uh, commerce experience in 2019. So we're very, very proud of Composite. So let's talk about that amazing value. Let's talk about price. 150,000 all in with Oracle Commerce Cloud, done. Composo, $40,000, done. Total price, 190. That is an un unprecedented amount of value for this type of platform. So let's put that into context. You know, a lot of people look out there, and I hear this all the time, Bill, that is great, but there's a lot of bikes out there. There are all kinds of e-commerce platforms out there. It is critical that you do your homework, that you understand the difference between value and price. Most commerce platforms are like this Huffy here, where looks nice, okay, it's got a nice shine to it. Wow, I like that nice price tag. But as soon as you try to race on this, as soon as you put it under load, guarantee you these spokes are gonna flatten, the pedal's gonna fall off, the chain is gonna derail. And at the end, this is not as cheap as you think. Don't be hoodwinked by these initial upfront low cost values because you're gonna instantly regret it and have to throw it all away. The difference is, is that Oracle is building you a solution that is gonna, it's gonna take care of you today, but also in the future. So let's talk about some of the places that you're gonna go with this investment. Number one, you're gonna to go to a place of simplification. I touched on that in the design tool, showing how easy it is to access any page on the site modify the site, preview and publish that without calling the IT department. Being able to easily set up very powerful customer segmentations using dynamic attributes like lifetime spend and lifetime average order value. 
because you're not just treading water and you're not just working in a cookie cutter uh, commerce engine, that will allow you innovation like you've never been able to before. Because Oracle understands commerce and we give you A-B testing and we give you the analytics that you need to be informed, that will allow you to be innovative and say, hey, when we ran that promotion and we did that multivariant testing, we noticed that we got a 5% uptick in our add to cart click through rate. We noticed that the average order value went up by $100 by doing that particular promotion. You cannot do that on other platforms. Whoop. And the other thing is you're getting that at an unprecedented value. So when this COVID-19 is all over and we're able to relax, it will be like taking a super cheap trip to Fiji where you're getting amazing value, but you're getting luxury service and everything that you wanted at an amazing discounted price. This is absolutely what Oracle Commerce Cloud brings to you. Okay, questions? Ernie, do we have any questions in the chat that anybody brought up? Uh, let me check. So uh, first off, Bill, just wanna say thank you so much. That was, that was great. Uh, let me remind everyone that uh, in your chat box, you can go ahead and ask any question you like. Um, let me go ahead and start walking through some of them that I see. So, Bill, could you talk a little bit about, there, there's a lot around this uh, two-week notion sort of out of the box. And so there's questions around payment gateways, the ability to, to, for tax calculations, what are in and out of the box for those two areas? Sure. So we can integrate to any payment engine. All we need are your merchant account uh, details. You enter them in, you're taking credit cards. Same thing with tax service. Avalar and Vertex services are available out of the box. All we need is your account information, enter those in, and tax calculations are done. Okay. Um, the next question comes in relative to after the out of the box, two week implementation. Um, the level of support needed uh, from Oracle, from Composo, kind of moving forward. So from the Oracle perspective, Bill, Christian, mm -hmm. you guys want to speak to that? Sure, Christian, you want to take that or do you want me to? Take that? I missed the question, so maybe you should grab that again. I was just no, missing no that No problem, yeah. So ongoing support, absolutely. This is a partnership and we look at every one of these engagements as a partnership with our customers. So ongoing support with Oracle, absolutely. You'll have access to the product management team. You'll access, have access to other professionals inside of Oracle who are more than happy to work with our customers. And then from the Composso side, uh, that's also there. But you know, Ernie, do you want to talk about the Composso support? Yeah, we just, we just during the engagement, we just we just take time to make sure that we train, we work with the user and train about the key functionality. So when we yep. sort of leave in a couple of weeks, you have the the basics to go ahead and maintain your application if if you'd like. So that's included in the two week jumpstart as well. Awesome. Um, you hit on you hit on some things. There was another question around multi languages, multi currency. Uh, let's see, Kristen, do you want to take that? Maybe talk to that a little bit. Sure. I mean, so one of the values that uh, Oracle Commerce Cloud delivers is that it's uh, it has extensive internationalization capabilities. So you have the capability to run this in a multi-site environment as well as to support multiple languages as well as multiple currencies. Uh, I don't have the number off hand, Bill, if you while well, you're just drinking right now, but there are okay, there are things. Uh, uh, Sixty-five different languages and forty-five yeah. different currencies. So, exactly. Yeah. So one of the values that again, we have is that if you're an organization that is looking for more of a global uh, outreach, we can help you grow. We can start with the U.S. or somewhere in North America, and we can grow out to anywhere across the world. Okay. Um, let's see. Next question is about um, someone just wanting clarification. Do I understand correctly a single instance can support both B2C and B2B? Bill, Absolutely. do you want to speak to that? Yeah, fully integrated B2C and B2B environment. So you can support both of those personas and the anonymous persona out of the box. Okay. Let's see, Abner, uh, in terms of the two-week implementation, we've got a question around what are the limitations on the products that we can implement on, on that? Could you speak to that? Sure. Uh, there are no limitations on the number of products or that you might have. Okay, no limitation. All right, very good. 
All right, um, I don't see any more questions here. And so let me ask the panel, uh, just kind of on closing comments. Uh, let's start with Abner. Abner, um, any thoughts that you'd like to leave uh, the folks with today on OCC? No, I don't want to have anything to add. I think it was all about well presented, the demonstrations. I think we covered everything that the platform can do for you guys. Okay. All right, Christian, anything that you'd like to end with? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Bill, great job. I think that was an amazing kind of demonstration showing what you can do. I mean, really what we want to put forth today is just the concept of, you know, perhaps you, you're in a situation where you need to get your mar your products to market today. So a direct to consumer channel, it might be what you're looking for. Uh, but there's so much extensibility and reusability of the Oracle Commerce Cloud solution. Remember, this is not just a point solution that only does one thing. It's not a one trick pony. We also have other capabilities. If you want to add more configurational capabilities, Oracle has a CPQ solution. We have a marketing cloud tool that can also tie into this as well. So it's really a solution that can be part of a larger ecosystem that can really achieve, help you achieve your goals um, much more than just necessarily this one thing. But it is something that can be part of a much larger solution not just something that you can use one, one time and then uh, be done with it. It really is something that can expand with your business needs. And Bill, final thoughts. Um, my world has completely changed since COVID like everybody else, but from a work standpoint, it has exploded. Uh, my customers are all calling me. One's not only customers that I've sold to in the past that want to have all kind of uh, working with them on growing their online revenue, but all kind of new customers that are absolutely running to get online and start uh, selling online. So uh, it's a new world. Um, Oracle is absolutely changing uh, with it quickly. And um, when you're ready, man, give us a call. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. So just my closing thoughts are, uh, as you're leaving the call, I, we really wanted to spend a lot of time on uh, talking about demo, about, about software functionality upfront and then try to tie everything together here. But I think leaving the call, we're all seeing online print, you know, the online buying. There was a press release for Target yesterday or the day before that their, their online sales are going through the roof. And I think if you're, you know, you're someone here on the call and you're currently using, I'm sure some level of software to put your products on the market, um, what we're seeing a lot of customers come back with is like, yeah, I'm using this great software, it's pretty inexpensive, but I want to go to Mexico or I want to go to Canada and now I have to have three separate instances because I have three different currencies. Or I want to start a B2B initiative. So now I've got to have my fourth instance, right? So mm -hmm. if you're someone that doesn't quite have your product, the new product that you want to go to the market, this can fit. That's why we created this two week program. If you have a new geography that you want to go to, boom, this can fit as well. So the idea here was that really with, with Bill's demonstration is you're gonna get simplicity if you want it, but also you can go a mile wide or a mile deep, depending upon the key functionality that you wanna take advantage of, right? So that's the whole premise of what we're trying to share today. So with that, um, I'd like to thank all of my panelists today. It was a lot of hard work to put this together. Again, we're doing this weekly. And the other thing too, is if you have media questions or you'd like to take the next step and get a personalized demo of OCC, you can reach out to any of the Composto folks that are listed here or you can also reach out to the Oracle people that are listed here as well. That's their emails and then direct phone numbers. So with that, um, I'd like to thank the panelists. I'd like to thank everyone for, for uh, attending today. And uh, if we've missed something, certainly send us some questions. If you'd like to, again, attend the next session we have, it's every Wednesday for the next few weeks, we'll be holding the exact same session. So with that, thank you again for everyone. I'd like to conclude the webinar now. Thank you, have a good rest of the day. Bye now.